Well, yes, Gimba, again, <laughs> at the start of, uh, at, the, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, I'm going to tell you that the party has set up an appeal committee which is looking at all these grievances from top to bottom, and I believe they have uh, listened to every case. People have presented their cases who have grievances, and they are in the middle of uh, submitting, uh, almost submitting their reports, I think, sometimes today. So one thing is clear. If you're a winner, definitely someone will lose. And a loser will always have grievances, whether they are genuine or not. That is what the system, the uh, 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 doctrine of uh, exhausting local remedies, they will uh, now address. If the person complaining has more better case presented to the appeal, then he may be returned as the victor. But if not, the recognized uh, person in the election as the winner will go. But then we will bring back all those people that felt one way or the other they, are, where they were aggrieved because they have lost uh, uh, the primary election. We would remind them the very reason why APC was formed. The reason was to salvage the situation in this country, was to give Nigerians a better alternative as a platform to move this country forward with on the on issue of good governance, which actually culminated in the tripod agenda of this administration. That is the, uh, reviving the economy, fighting security, and fighting corruption, which at least this government is doing fantastically well. If you would have allowed me to go into those details, I will have no, said... I'll, I'll let you go into that later. Like I'll, I'll let you go into that later, but this is what... I'll let you go to, into that later, maybe when we return from the break. But uh, just before we go on that break, this is what the PDP is saying to you. That you are in panic mode right now with the emergence of uh, al Haji Atikwa Boker as the presidential candidate for the PDP. And now that he's running, having a running mate in the person of uh, the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, that is even adding to your woes and with the likes of Saraki, the likes of Tambuwal, who are part of a, of a, of a uh, who are now coordinators for the Atiku campaign organization, that is a tough call for you, isn't it? Let me tell you something. In fact, the APC couldn't have gotten uh, a better opponent to actually go against in the person of these two people that you mentioned. And I will tell you why. We were afraid that PDP, before the primaries, may likely pick someone that would not have baggages, that we couldn't actually go after. But as God will answer our prayers, and that is not taking away the strength and the dexterity of Mr. Achiko Abubakar, but he comes with a lot of baggages, and these are public knowledge. So we have something to campaign on, and he has a record. That is why 2019 is going to be interesting. People will, the two candidates will run on their records, not promises. You see, Atiku Abakar was vice president in this country. He supervised over things like the privatization of national assets. We knew what happened to some of these assets. Sold to, sold to self, sold to cronies, at under, grossly undervalued prices no investment in those assets, liabilities of those uh, uh, national assets were left for succeeding governments until this administration came. Some of these assets, they never paid the liabilities to these people. As we're speaking, nine tail workers that were actually retrenched during uh, Vice President, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar's time, and we knew who bought this company, we are not paid. Now, President Mohammed Bari Administration is paying these workers. It is in public domain and public knowledge. Now, again, if you look at political, the other baggages, the allegations of corruption, the issues are in public domain. You know, from the reports of the United States through the investigation of Congressman William Jefferson, it's out there everywhere. So we now, look at those things and nobody can come one thing that nobody can do even in pdp and this president muhammad bari has challenged every contender since he was actually aspiring to be a president from 2003 to date 
Point me, I have held these positions, these offices. I was a governor, chairman of uh, Petr uh, the NMPC, uh, uh, and also former head of state and chairman PTF. But tell me if I have taken one cover of the public, bring it forward. None in the opposition has taken President Muhammad Bari on that challenge till death as I speak. You can't point to that. Can that stem the said about the PDP's candidate? That is one. Even though there is no indict, uh, uh, sorry, a, a court conviction or trial, but there was indictment by the Senate of this country. There was a report from the U.S. Congress. So, but leave that one also. Let's talk about the vice presidential candidate in the person of uh, former Governor Peter Obi. Politically, me, if you let me, the day I was on my way actually joining somewhere when I had the PDP, Atiku Abakar has picked uh, 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 Mr. Peter Obi. I was actually so happy, let me tell you. That's, that's a good place to let, to let it rest uh, with your what? happiness. Let, let it rest with your happiness. Uh, 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 Abdullahi Aliu, the vice chairman of the Buhari Media Organization. Unfortunately, time is against us, and that's where I'm going to have to let you go. Thank you so much indeed for talking to us. And Sunrise Daily will be back after a moment. Join us again.